What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the Rift Breaker. We are moving right along. I made a few more improvements to the base and I think it is about time to really jack the power up. So we are at a point now where I am generating enough uranium just from this one farm to run one nuclear reactor. So I'm going to go ahead and get a nuke set up in here. That will allow me to get even more power generation. So all we're going to need for the nukes, of course, is a little bit of water. We got lots of water going here. And in fact, I went on and plumbed the water in. Now, all we uh, have left here to complete the device is completing the hyper particle condenser and then the quantum gate stabilizer. You see, we need titanium there for that, and we need palladium for this one, which we don't have access to either of those yet, but we're also going to need some water. So I went on and got the water fed in, and it is good to go. I got it some backup storage tanks and looking schnazzy. In fact, we can go ahead and upgrade that storage tank as well, but we want to get a little more power down. Now, how are we going to do this? What do we even want to do? Let's see, that's 1,500. Um, basically, uh, you know what? Can I run a pipe up around here? No, it doesn't look like I can. If I could have put a pipe around there, I probably would have. But what we can do is we can take a feed off. Actually, you know what? We can probably fit this bad boy right here. Oh, yeah, we sure can. So let's go ahead and take this all the way to tier three. This is going to be draining only 50 water per second and four uranium per second. So it's not much of a drain at all for 3000 power generation. Completely ridiculous. So let's get a nuke down. Now that bad boy is going to take five minutes to build. So that is going to be a bit of a stretch. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it a little bit of water right there. And all we need left as far as power goes is we're going to want to make a Let's see do we even have access to it yet we do a fusion power plant now we don't have that palladium and titanium of course so we were unable to use that and it looks like we got an attack coming in so we get to put our uh a little a bit of minefield loving to the test here uh where are these coming from they're coming from the south side of the map both corners now, you know what? Something for construction. something that has been just triggering me to no end through this whole playthrough. Um, as you see, I answered my titanium, or pardon me, my um, carbonium issues by adding in a little bit more carbonium and ironium mining right out here. But one thing that's been driving me nuts is this little pylon here. Uh, that pylon has been sitting there for way too many episodes. And... I just haven't gotten it dialed in yet. Now, here's another really nice carbonium right here. I uh, might want to get on that here pretty quick. Let's get uh, old Rocky here all smashed up good. We've got quite a few beds out here. Uh, we got another rock over here we messed with. Let's go ahead and get that one nuked down as well. Uh, in pretty good shape. Now, let's go ahead and make our way out here. It's not too far. It's only right here. I don't know why I haven't come out here and popped this darn thing, but let's get uh, these butt blasters out of the way here. We got a Rocky once again, and uh, let's see. Let's give uh, let's give old Rock the grenade launcher in the rocket launcher treatment. And we got one of those little stealthies here too, man. Those stealthies will get you if you're not careful. That is for sure. Now, we're just going to go ahead and roll up in here with the punchy gloves as, uh, you know, as far as cre completing these pylons, uh, punchy gloves are just the way to go. They're just so powerful. So let's go ahead and get healed up and let's see what this is all about here. These guys are scrapping it out out here, huh? These guys are indeed scrapping it out. Now, let's go ahead and just get this. Even though that attack's coming, I'm going to get this objective knocked out anyway. And uh, here comes the little army of Zerglings here. And with the punchy gloves, of course, we are just going to wreck them. Now, another thing. Through these last few episodes in between, I've been just sitting and letting research tick away. 
So I've got a whole lot of upgrades now that I think I can make. Now let's go ahead and get this pile on here. But they're just not going to let us, are they? Doesn't look like these beds want us to get that pile on at all. Is that going to give us enough time to get it? Not looking like it. We're going to have to wait until this attack is over. I think I'm just going to chill out here, to be honest with you. Well, if we got to kill them all, then let's kill them all in style. And bust out our minigun and our uh, bad boy plasma. Let's see if we can't just wreck through these things. Now, these are two of the upgrades I'm going to be making here today. So, we are going to get some fatty weapons and then get over and knock out another one of those objectives. I do want to get the titanium flowing. Uh, titanium is pretty important. It's um, it's a big, big part. Besides just the end objective, uh, just titanium is going to be useful to make so many super cool things. So, definitely want to get that titanium flowing. Wow, man. Like this whole wave wanting to come over here or what? Still can't, still can't go. They just don't want me to get it. Let's see, we're almost there. I think this this one may be the one. This may be the one here. And uh, hopefully we get something good other than another stone statue. Is it going to be another stone statue? One of our walls has been destroyed. Let's see. It's a golden statue. Well, that's a. I'm not sure if that's a new one or not. Say, all right. So what happened out here? It looks like shit went down right over here. Let me tell you. So we're gonna need to throw in some upgrades. One thing about the mines is they get wrecked every attack. You know, having these outer wall setups like this, um, the downside about it is that anything you place in here is just gonna get destroyed literally every attack um let's see let's go uh one there and one there we got quite a bit of goods out here though let's see and is there anything else we lost our power of course so let's get our power back and uh looking pretty good right there now We've got some more uh, relatively easy to find or easy to get to carbonium right out here. Uh, let's deal with the uh, the mud the mud guys here real quick. Get these guys all burned out. They throw those little splody bombs at you. They're quite quite uh, quite irritating. Is this a fatty node? Oh wow, that is a big node. I'm thinking I might tap into that, which is Tier 1 uh, Miners. Now, I've been using a lot of the Tier 1 Miners way out here remotely, and the reason is is they just get destroyed so often. I don't want to put a real investment into these uh, these ones that are far off. So, I'm just going to drop the Tier 1 Miners here. Can I snag another one up in there somewhere? Changing. Does not down. look like it. But let's go ahead and tie this one in here. I'm going to have to go around the mud pit, of course. And we'll just bring this right on in and just tie it in right here. Now, as I mentioned, 100% going to get destroyed pretty often. But it's kind of a low-hanging fruit. You know, it's it's something I need lots of. Uh, the more carbonium, the merrier here at this point in the game. Uh, however, I don't want to defend it. So it's going to be out here so far. Uh, if I get attacks that are going to, uh, or from the south side, then of course it's always going to get destroyed. Uh, however, if it's a north side attack, then I kind of get off scot-free. So, let's see. Let's get a scan out here and see if I want to go to this other one. That's 26,000 carbonium here. I mean, we're going to be able to get a lot, a lot of carbonium in here pretty darn quickly. Uh, remember, these will tick as I am over in other areas, too, so that's kind of nice. Now, all right, we got that stuff done. Let's head back on into the base itself, and let's get some weapons upgraded. Let's see, what can we make? We can make, uh, well, what do I have? Yeah, I've got no purple weapons whatsoever. Uh, we can make a grenade launcher. 
Let's go ahead and get one of those. We can make a plasma gun. No, we need a little road knight. Rocket launcher. We can make one of those. Crafting completed. Anything else? I really want to get the minigun. Uh, where is that in the research? Do we got a little ways to go on it yet? Let me see. Yeah, we got to get the small machine gun first, and then the purple minigun will be down there. But we did get a couple of upgrades here. We got a uh, schnazzy grenade launcher. And we got a schnazzy rocket launcher. Now, how do we want to mod these guys? Let's check it out. Let's see. Damage over time. Cluster projectiles enabled. That actually sounds really good. Additional projectiles to be spawned when the target is hit. Now we got homing projectiles. Splash damage just feels like such a natural there uh, for one of the mods, uh, particularly with a grenade. Um, do we want more damage? I mean, we can add an element to it as well. Uh, that one's 18% uh, additional physical damage there. Let's just go ahead and tap that on. That's going to make that hit really, really hard. Now, how about rockets? Uh, what do we want to do with the rockets? Homing projectiles? I mean, why not, right? Let's go ahead and get homing, homing rockets on there. Uh, what else? We got a that damage over time is pretty darn nice. Uh, once again, it comes around to the splash damage. I mean, this is a rocket, so it's going to be doing some splash damage. And then uh, additionally, I can make me... Oh, nope, I can't. I need that road knight. So we are still missing a few things, and uh, we have got more objectives to do. We still got to do the volcanic area. Now, the volcanic area is going to get us introduced to the titanium. Uh, we got the rodenite concentration i feel like we need some rodenite right now that is the thing to do now another thing too is i could just cultivate the rodenite because i actually have enough research from the acidic plains biome to do that but let's go ahead we'll head on over to this quest objective or expedition here and we'll deal with the rodenite concentration and here we go. The orbital scanner reported large condensations of rhodonite in this area, both underground and in the form of the red crystal formations that we've seen in the other parts of this biome. The blueprints are okay. Let's grab the geo scanner and start searching for treasure. All right, now. Oh man, we got a lot of nodes right here. They're not very healthy ones. But uh, let's go ahead and ge geo-scan it out. This one's going to be uh, all about geo-scanning and getting to that 654. So let's uh, get us a little bit of road night here. The more the merrier, really. Uh-oh, we got the uh, blasters going here. We got some butt blasters. Oh, yeah. Get these guys mowed down here. They're dropping quite a bit of road night as well. So we're getting road night from other sources also. Oh, man, we got one more. Way out there. Where is it? These ones here launch quite the projectile. Big old snail looking dude. They launch a crazy, crazy projectile at you. But let's see. We got a little bit of road night to get. Now, there is a lot of resource nodes on this particular area. It makes me pretty tempted to throw down an outpost. Not gonna lie. Now, let's see. We got lots of butt blasters here, and we got good old Rocky here. Wow, there is a lot of the blasters. Now, we can also just complete this just from getting the Road Knight from the, the little crystals here, but... Get all these little zerglings burned down. Ashley, I have located a large condensation of rhodonite near our position. Fantastic. We have marked its approximate location on our map. Excellent. We should gather as much rhodonite as possible. We'll use it later to craft better equipment. Get these packs out of here. All 
right, so let's head on down to the objective. Look at all the resource nodes on this one. So, so tempted. So, so tempted to throw down an outpost. Oh, man. Got more ironium. Get these guys all burned out here. And uh, let's continue to head on down to the objective here. See if we can't punch it out here. Get a little healing return as we're going, and hopefully this will save the day a little bit. Now we got a pylon here. I gotta get the pylon. Because that is just a potential unlock. Grab that bad boy. We should have a Zerg coming in. Oh, a two-sided Zerg even. Try to kite these guys around a little because the that little acid pool they leave behind is quite the real deal. Uh, let's see. What do we got in this one? How much you want to bet it's going to be a stone statue? Uh, just standing in the acid here. What could possibly go wrong? All right, and we got uh, a stone statue. <laughs> I tell you, there's no shortage of stone statues in this game. That is for damn sure. Let's see if we can't get over there. I'm gonna use the punchy gloves to give myself a little bit of healing regen, uh, especially considering it's my best weapon now. Oh, you know what? I made the punchy gloves, didn't I? And I never equipped them. So, so much damage here. Alright, well, we're almost down to the objective. We got butt blasters out the wazoo. Right. Well, we're getting it. It's not pretty, but we're getting it. So many enemies down here. Oh, and we got another pylon, too. Right. Let's get this one. I'm not going to go there and clear it out. Unless I absolutely have to. So here comes the Zerg. Quite a few of them this time. Holy crap, man. Quite a pile of acid goo they leave behind, too. Tell you what I need to do is I need to get the healing return on these punchy gloves as well, and that will just make them completely ridiculous. Don't be a damn stone statue. All right, it was mods that time. Fantastic. I'll take some mods. Oh, oh, oh. These guys don't mind getting punched in the face, so we better uh, get around that situation. Oh, shoot. We got a minefield. Oh, I didn't realize. Was that a minefield this whole time? Good lord. I forgot about the minefield aspect of it. I am just derping like crazy, thinking I got some kind of projectiles coming at me, and the whole time, it is just mines that I can actually deal with on my own. The derp is real, y'all. The derp is real. I guess I'm going to be forced to deal with that nest, huh? I'm kind of looking that way. They are intensifying over There's time. so many enemies coming like at us. Like coming. I still need, what, like 280-ish uh, resource? It depends on how much I'm going to be getting. I'm out of minigun ammo. It's an earthquake. 
It's going to seriously damage all buildings near its epicenter. Well, luckily, I don't have any, so it's all good. All right, let's see what we got over here. Oh shit! I didn't realize I was actually at the nests. I gotta deal with these guys. We've gathered a sizable amount of road night. This should be enough to craft some good equipment. We can stay here and try to find more or get back to our Oh, we are gonna get more. We're gonna get all we can while we're right here. Now this area is very resource rich, which is kind of rare for the little expedition type areas. I'm tempted to throw an outpost down here just because there's so much, but on the same note, I've got an absolute butt ton of resources untapped just back on my main planet still, so... Tons and tons and tons of resource opportunity. Uh, now let's see. Let's just go ahead and bail. You know, I'm not going to save this area. Um, although, I think if you were going to save an area, I think that would be a good one to go to. I don't feel like I need to. I got what I came for. I got the Road Knight. Uh, gonna make me some schnazzy new weapons here, and uh, we're probably gonna end up getting a, an attack here on the base. So hopefully it doesn't just flatten us. What we'll to see here? But let's get our weapons improved, and um, all the way around. I would love to have purple weapons all the way down the list. So let's see what we can get here. Um, the minigun, of course, I'm still gonna have to research, so I'm a little ways off on that. Uh, however, I would love to get everything else all good and jacked. And let's see. Can we finally do it? Oh, yes. The Crafting completed. plasma gun. So, so glorious. All right. Let's see. We want it right here. Um, let's just go ahead and disassemble that one. We'll equip that one. What mods do we want to use? Damage over time, cluster projectiles, target piercing enable. That is a given right there. Uh, what else do we want? We want more damage. Do we want healing return? I mean, some healing return would be nice, right? Just to make us a little bit tankier. Auto aim. That potentially could be fun to play with. Projectiles per burst. That seems pretty good, too. You know what? Let's go with that one. Let's go with projectiles per burst. Um, let's see, we can't do the minigun yet. Let's check the punchy gloves. Did I make the punchy gloves? I did not. Oh, because I needed uh, the materials. That's right. So we needed that road knight. So let's go ahead and uh, make two fancy schmancy punchy gloves there. Uh, we'll get those in. Let's go ahead and disassemble that one. Get some of our resources back. We'll put that in. Uh, let's disassemble that one and get some resources back and then put that in. Now, what do we want on our punchy gloves? 5% uh, crit chance, so I'm not really going to mess with the crit chance any. Um, hit points gained per hit. It almost makes these things completely broken. I got to go with it. It's just too good to pass up. Uh, now we got range. Range could be beneficial. Uh, we got splash damage, stun chance. We got a raw damage increase. Uh, you know what? Let's go with range. We got a 32% range there. And then on this one, let's do the same thing. So hit point gain. And do we want to go with range on this one too? Yeah, why not? We got uh, some nice range mods sitting here. Let's go with range on that one as well. Now, we are five out of six purple gear now. And oh man, we should be just hitting like an absolute truck. So, looking forward to that. Uh, let's check out our uh, our nukes here. We got... Oh, speaking of nukes. Did I ever get the nuke? Mini gun. I think it's still researching. Mini nuke launcher. Yeah, it's still a little ways out. We will have us a nuke launcher. That is for darn sure. Um, now, where did I put it? Oh, this is it right here, huh? Power plant level three. Um... It's producing 3,000 energy, so it almost brings us to even during the nighttime cycle, which is pretty crazy good, right? 
Now, I could throw in another uranium and go with another nuke for another 3,000. And I could do that right now, right up in this area. Man, I'm so tempted. I already actually have it set up. I got the water right here ready to go for another uh, cultivator. You know what? Let's go ahead and get that cultivator down. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to put uranium on it yet, though. Let's see. Uh, we'll get the range, say, right at... Uh, let's go over one more. Let's go right here. Uh, then we're going to want um, harvesting stations as well. And then we're going to need a little bit of plumbing. Now, what do we want? Well, let's see what we have access to now. Uh, we should have access to quite a few things here. Let's check it out. Um, okay, so we got... Um, that one's Road Knight. I mean, you never know. I might want some more Road Knight. It's just straight up uranium, carbonium, and ironium. That's such a good one. Uh, that's some tanzanite and then rhodonite. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just go more uranium. Uh, so this is going to give us enough. We're going to have enough uranium going up here for another nuclear power plant. Which is going to really take us over the top here. Uh, because I still need to make the fusion, remember. So uh, the fusion I have to make. There's not an option. So the fusion is going to uh, allow us to come up with the plasma for our final objective. So I got to, got to, got to have the fusion. So, so tempted. I mean, I could pop it right here, I bet. Let me see. Look at that. I could put a nuke right there. And this would be completely self-sufficient and sustainable because I've got all the uranium just growing right up here. So I'm kind of liking that. Uh, let's see. We can bring this right on over and put it in. And we got our water. I think we're going to be positive during the night cycle. Just with what we got here. And that's pretty darn huge. Now... You know, the last event requires an absolute buttload of power. Uh, there's no doubt there. See, we're going to need the plasma to come in over here. Now, that's the other thing with this placement, is I didn't leave any room for any pipes to come through. You know what? I hate to do it, but let's sell it. And let's put it over here instead. That will leave me one little tile. Actually, you know what? Let's put it way back here. Or where can I tuck it? Can I tuck it where it's out of the way somewhere? I mean, that's kind of out of the way. Not really. But kind of. <laughs> but by putting it there, it would allow me to put um, some plasma generation over here and then be able to pipe it right down through here and into our final objective. Now, we just unlocked the laser, an advanced laser as well. That's another weapon I want to play around with and try out. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with the progress in this episode. We got a butt ton of power now. I'm tempted after putting that uh, the fusion reactor down. I may even just go ham on the storage and potentially even get rid of like maybe some of the wind and just replace all of this with more storage. Uh, we're going to have to see how that goes. Though. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. The final objective, um, of course, your goal, you're going to want to be able to pr produce enough energy where you're able to sustain the rift. And it's a ton. It's 10,000 per second, which is huge. I mean, right now, my entire base is only using 5,800. And this is going to use 10,000 per second. So tons of energy. So you can achieve that one of two ways. You can either be a producing it or you can have it stored. And the event itself lasts six and a half minutes. So we're going to have to do some math before we start the final event and make sure we have everything, all of the resources necessary to keep this rift going for six and a half minutes. And if not, the entire thing fails and you have to start it over. Now, you know, obviously you don't have to start your entire playthrough over. You just have to start that little event over. 
but it is something we're going to want to be extra cautious and plan for as we go. But that will do it for now. Thank you all so, so much, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy. Thank you.